Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review Sympathy for the Devil, and this is a new horror thriller from director Yuval Adler, who previously did a film that I thought was pretty darn good and really flew under the radar from Bleecker Street, The Secrets We Keep which also had Joel Kinnaman in it, who stars in this as the driver, a man who's on the way to the hospital to see his wife giving birth. But unfortunately, what happens is he is taken at gunpoint and forced to drive around this mysterious, mysterious man, the passenger, played by Nick Cage. And if you were wondering... How Nick Cage does Nick Cage get in this movie? He is has his hair dyed red. He's in a red, like, elaborate red, like, smoking jacket. And goes incredibly full-blown Nick Cage in this film. And Darnier just, you know, absorbs all the energy. There's a scene where they're in a diner and he goes up to the jukebox and my wife and I are just sitting there like, oh, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Yes, he did sing along to a song and he danced to it. So you're welcome. Nick Cage just blows it out of the water with his personality here. And he's doing the Boston accent that he was going to use for the cop that he was going to play in Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. And... This character's insane. And Joel Kinnaman is much more of like a mousy, kind of like reserved and nervous character here. But there's a lot of mystery to what's actually going on. Why is this passenger here? And why does he have a connection with Kinnaman's character? And I think Kinnaman gives a, a good performance here. And it's interesting seeing where this mystery takes us. There's a lot of suspense and tension. I think Adler does a good job of building that. And the cinematographer Stephen Holleran does a great job of some impressive shots of like them driving on their car. You need to make it dynamic to make it not boring. And you know, films like Locke really do, and this film has those moments as well. There's thrills, there's action, there's violence. It is indeed a thriller that has plenty of thrills, but really the biggest element here, because like and the narrative's very loose. Very loose. But it does have some interesting things about consequences and confronting your past. And it has mystery. Like, is... Like, on some level, I'm like, is Nick Cage actually the devil in this? Based off of the, you know, the, the title. But Nick Cage is on such another level in this film and makes it so entertaining that this little horror thriller packs a wallow, and a lot of fun, and I enjoyed this quite a bit, and I would definitely recommend this, especially if you are in the camp that you think that Nick Cage is amazing, which I do, and so does my wife, which is why she really wanted to watch this. So, this is a fun ride, and a very enjoyable one at that, but even if towards the end it kind of loses itself to, like, finally blowing off and having all the craziness happen, but it is a well-structured and thrilling ride with a great Nick Cage performance that's something that's not going to leave you very quickly. But those are my thoughts on Sympathy for the Devil. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.